This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you have all been doing well. In today's video, I will be showing you guys an updated tour of my study desk. If you follow me on my studygram, then you have probably already seen it there, but if you haven't, then keep on watching if you are interested. So on the top of the bookshelf, I like to keep some decorative pieces including some artificial plants I got from IKEA, my paintbrushes um, and a 3D human skull model that I received from Anatomic Advance on Instagram. I think it's super cool how they created this model using 3D technology and how it all fits in using magnets. to keep this cute Farida Carlo cup that I received from one of my close friends and I think it's super cute and I'm obsessed with how it looks. Next I have my stamp collection that I picked up from a vintage market um, but I think they have this on Amazon now and I use this to make titles on my bullet journal. I also have a few real cacti scattered all over my desk um, and I also like to keep my Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 Polaroid camera um, that I received as a gift for my birthday. Um, if you were ever thinking about buying one of these then I probably wouldn't recommend it because I feel like it's just overhyped. In the middle shelf I have my Pantone postcards that I ordered off Amazon during the first lockdown um, and I thought I'd get really creative with them so I started painting on these cards and I used them to decorate my wall. I also have a pack of notes, post-it notes and some Van Gogh stickers too. I then have a jar of gel pens and whiteboard pens that I like to make my notes with um, and I also have of course another candle. I usually get all my candles from a store called TK Maxx um, and I feel like their candle range is just phenomenal um, and also their packaging is really cute too. I then have a cute little 3D anatomical model on here that I kindly was gifted by Kits of Medicine um, and I just love the way it looks on my desk so I keep it there. In the bottom shelf I like to keep my paints that I use frequently um, and I also have some notebooks um, and a little dish where I keep all my SD cards. Um, and on the side I have my mini projector and some medical books that I use often. I also have my watercolour paint set at the bottom and some few notebooks that I recently purchased from Muji and again TK Maxx.
On the side of the bookcase, I like to keep my stethoscope that I carry around during placement as well as my handmade flashcards. Um, thank you so much for showing all the love on these flashcards on my Instagram. And if you are interested in purchasing one for yourself, then I will leave all the links below in my description box. On my wall I have a few prints and a Pantone card that I painted on using acrylic paints and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I have been using Skillshare to explore different ways to enhance my painting skills and get more creative and so I would like to take a minute and I would like to introduce you guys to the fastest growing creative platform Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing platform where different creators come together to share and teach you different skills like illustration, graphic design, painting, photography and also video editing um, and much much more. The classes include a combination of video lessons and a class project. If you want to learn more about how to use acrylic paints as a beginner then you should check out Laurie and Gonzalez's online course Acrylic Painting Learn the Basics for Beginners. The course goes into depth of how you can mix different colours to create the perfect shades, what brushes you should use and how to create texture using the paint. There are also a lot more videos in Skillshare going into detail about how to paint using other mediums like watercolour and oil paint. The Skillshare membership is usually less than $10 a month but the first thousand people to use the link below will get Skillshare Premium membership for free for a limited time we can get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects. So if you are interested then I will leave all the links below in the description box so do make sure to check it out. Okay, so on the side, I also like to keep my bullet journal and a Grey's Anatomy textbook. This book is purely here because I'm obsessed with how it looks and I'm just, you know, a big fan of... I don't know where I'm going with this, but basically it's here for decor reasons. And I'm sure I'll probably use this one day when, you know, might need to just check up on some bones that I'm not sure of so I don't know might need it one day you know um, and I just have my BNF book here that I'm trying to get used to um, fiddling around with because I have a PSA mock coming up so I do want to be using that and getting used to it. I then have my pencil case here um, that I like to carry around when I'm out so if you are interested for a breakdown then you can check out my what's in my backpack video to see. I then have my acrylic set that I purchased from Muji um, and on here I like to keep all my highlighters, my gel pens, um, some post-it notes, my airpods and a cute little pin from Codex. I then have more plants um, on my desk to keep me going and brighten up my days and some more candles that I light up nearly every day. Um, and in the desk compartment I have other stationery and camera equipment. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe and I'd really appreciate it if you could also follow me on Instagram.